Right, uh, we are now walking towards the uh, crater of Mount Bromo, which is the highlight. As you can see, it's a long way up, it's about 250 steps to reach to the top of the crater. Now, there are a few ways that you can actually walk to the crater. You can actually take a, a horse, <coughs> as you can see there's a lot down there. Like that costs about 100,000 uh, rupees to bring you there. If thousand uh, rupees <laughs> can actually bring you there but once you go there you have to make your way by foot all the way to the top so uh, the crater is actually 200 2326 meters if I'm not wrong it's about there so uh, I think you can just show for that. so there's, there's this legend about this uh, uh, Mount Bromo crater is that uh, there was once a couple they had no child so they actually came down here to this place to Mount Bromo and then uh, they prayed to the mountain goddess and said that uh, they wanted a child and then they were granted a child and they actually had 25 child but the deal was this they had to sacrifice the last child and throw the child into the crater itself now this is a belief um, which has been a practice normally uh, since till today so people actually throw in offerings such as fruits, vegetables, even live stocks um, such as sheep and goats into this as a sacrifice uh, to pray for something. And uh, the other thing is that uh, people actually also go down this crater to actually pick up these items uh, because this thing is, is good for luck or it's good for them. Uh, so it's, it's a very magical, mythical environment here yeah. this Mount Bromo and that's what uh, we are here to see so once we get to the top we will take another video this is the view Mount Batok that's view I'm guessing that that's where Mount Penjanakan is Penanjakan is where we We saw the movie of the tree. Okay, those. Okay. Right, so we are approaching Mount Bromo to the walk up soon. Just right there. Um, it's quite a lot of people actually going up this thing. Alright, so we are still walking up, um, yet to reach the 250 steps, it's quite a steep slope, as you can hear me panting, well, but that's what you gotta do when you wanna see that magical <laughs> crater, I'll catch up with another video once I reach the steps up there somewhere. Careful, honey. <laughs> Alright, we're almost close to the 250 steps. We are walking. But I gotta tell you, the view has been simply amazing. Look at all these uh, grooves that I presume the lava, flow of lava that I actually made. Yeah. So once we reach 350 steps, I'll get back to you. Alright. Come on. We did it. <laughs> Alright, so we have come to the completed stage one. Now, so we came this far all the way from actually somewhere there. So we came here, we walked all the way here through 
all this terrain and up and that's our guide <laughs> Mr. Salama yes. okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so stage one complete. Now, freedom or die. <laughs> yes. Stage two, 250 steps to the top. I think we can do this, right? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. 250 steps? Mm -hmm. We've done worse. Much worse. Okay. Come on, let's go. Up there. And the journey begins. Up we go. To the top. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, uh, we are at the top of uh, Mount Bruno Crater now. It is a fantastic and amazing sight. Just take a look down there. <coughs> okay, this very bad. I, we, we, can't, we are not able to stay here for long because the activity is getting a bit intense. And as you can see, I'm holding on to my mask. It's becoming very uh, hard to breathe and things, particles are flying out and I think it's time we get back down soon. So this is Mount Bruno for you, right at the top. And, uh, this is Mount Bromo's crater. Yes, this is the crater of Mount Bromo. And uh, please be advised to bring a mask if you want to come up because you do not know when this thing is going to get a bit active. <coughs> yeah, okay. So I'll see you guys soon.